What is good, everybody, man? This is your guy, Manny, and this is the Talking Sports with Manny YouTube channel. All right, man, let's get it. Had to do a quick little improv video from outside today. It is lovely out here. It is not too hot. It is not too cold in Nashville, Tennessee. But the Washington Commanders have made another signing. I know people have been wondering, who are they going to sign? What's going on? What's going on with the team? Why is it that the team continue to sign people that played for Carolina under Ron Rivera? Well, we just signed somebody else who played for Carolina, but Ron Rivera was never in the building. So Ron Rivera has never coached this guy. Washington Commanders just signed Alex Erickson. Um, he's, you know, six foot tall. Uh, he's 195 pounds, so a smaller guy, more of a slot type wide receiver, a guy that's a, a punt returner. But I'm also hoping that he can return kicks. What I see out of Alex Erickson is going to be a guy that can take over the Adam Humphreys role and the DeAndre Carter role. So I expect him to do a little bit of, you know, returning punts, returning kickoffs, if he can do that. And as well as being a backup wide receiver, most importantly, out of that slot position. DeAndre Carter played well, but he wasn't really a true slot wide receiver. Um, so we move on from DeAndre Carter and we get Eric Erickson. I mean, Alex Erickson. If he's able to make the team, which I don't know, it probably seems like he signed a one-year deal. So whether he makes a team, if he, if he makes a team, he'll definitely be a guy that will play all three positions, kickoff returner, punt returner, and slot wide receiver. Now, a little bit about Eric, um, uh, Alex Erickson. You know, he, he, you know, he entered the NFL uh, about seven years ago with the Bengals as they undrafted a free agent. So it seems like a theme. The team always gets these guys that are hungry. A guy, any guy that makes the NFL as an undrafted, free agent is going to be a guy that's going to fight and fight and fight every single year for his career, every single year to, you know, get better. So he's a guy that's going to be hungry. You know, uh, he's played on uh, three, uh, three teams, including Washington now. Um, so here's the stats. He has played in 97 career games and um, he has 14 starts uh, where he has recorded 96 receptions for 1,141 yards and one touchdown. So he's just a, a true slot guy. You know, he's not going to uh, wow you with, you know, with his stats or his moves. He's more so of a, a chain mover. You see, anytime you see about 100 receptions for about 1,000 a, a yards, that means you're getting about eight to nine uh, yards per catch. So he's just a, a true slot guy. Played for the Bengals for so many years. Uh, he was their top kick returner um, in uh, 20... Between 2016 and 2018, uh, he was averaging 27.93 yards per return as a rookie in 2016. So that, what that tells you is, yes, he can he can return kickoff. So he's a kickoff returner, punt returner, backup slot wide receiver. I am I am projecting him to make the team regardless of what the team has done via the draft. We do have some wide receivers that are on the team that are not going to make the team most likely, but you know it is an open competition. You still have to go through camp and all that. So, um, like I said, he played for the Panthers last year. Ron Rivera wasn't there. So, with all the myths like, oh, you know, damn, we keep getting all these Panthers players. Ron Rivera has no connection to this guy. The only connection that Ron Rivera has to Erickson is that they both were part of the Panthers organization at different times. So, last year, here are, here are his stats. He caught three passes. Uh, he returned 23 punts for – uh, 204 yards. So those are the stats for Alec Erickson brought in to be a special teams guy. I love that the team is uh, um, emphasizing special teams. You know, we've, we have done some things in the draft and then we've also done some things via free agency that is showing that the team is serious about the special teams. They want the special teams unit to be a better unit than it was last year. And I think that bringing him in, um, losing DeAndre Carter, there's not much of a drop off. Um, so we'll see how this works. I hope that this signing works. Be on the lookout. I'm dropping a video later on today about the undrafted free agent, um, Derek. Oh, Drew White. I'm sorry. <laughs> Drew White. So dropping the Drew White video later on today. Y'all be blessed. I'm going to catch you guys on that next video. I'm out. Peace.